Hi guys, welcome back to another few days in my life in Paris. This is gonna be the last vlog for a little while as I'm going to India really shortly and so I'm having a month off YouTube while I do my yoga teacher training and I just thought I'd show you my last few days in Paris as it was so beautiful. I was spending time on the 14th of July which is France's national holiday, Bastille Day, and spending it with some loved ones from home who it's been a while since I've caught up with and who are visiting Paris so it was amazing. They were staying in Le Marais. We explored around that area in the parks in Les Marchés des Enfants Rouges which is a beautiful food market that I highly recommend. Then we went and got dinner with my boyfriend and his best friend. So there was the five of us and it was just so fun. It was just such an unlikely day and I loved that. I love the spontaneity of it all. It's just so beautiful to make memories like that in Paris. And I just feel so happy. I feel like I'm constantly making such an effort now to spend my days really consciously around people that fill my life with so much joy and like that embodied joy within my soul and letting it dance and letting it flow out of me. At sunset we headed closer towards the Eiffel Tower but actually didn't end up getting too far because there were so many crowds of people all to celebrate and see the fireworks by the Eiffel Tower but it was just amazing, like such a good ambiance. We ended up on Le Quai de la Seine by the Hotel de Ville and it was gorgeous. We like got a bottle of red wine and we all shared it between us. It was just so nice being there with them, watching the fireworks, just being in the presence of so much joy and felicitation, like <laughs> celebration and everything. So it was a beautiful night to witness it all with the people I love around me. <laughs> I love me some lemon. The next day I found myself needing time to go inwards. I do always try to make sure I keep the balance and recharge myself. It's been really exciting because I recently had laser eye surgery. So it was the first time I could actually go in the pool since I was a kid and just splash around and not worry about my eyes, which was amazing. Not the best lighting, but um, I'm actually gonna go into Paris now with Lucas, my boyfriend, and we're gonna spend the day together. We're gonna eat at my favorite restaurant. So I'm excited. Just showing the fit. I'm show you your fit. You look sexy. So yeah, my name is Lucas. Look at your outfit, you're amazing. So we ended up going to my favourite restaurant, Jar Jar by Le Tricycle. And it's so nice, it's by Chateau d'Eau in kind of the north of Paris, near Republic. And it's just an unreal vegan restaurant. It's all organic vegan, it's Afro-Caribbean food, and it was just so yummy. Afterwards, we walked to Le Canal Samatin because it's not too far from the restaurant. And we just sat there for a while, chilling, talking, like sitting by the water because it's super cool and it was a really hot day and just people watching because that is definitely one of my favorite things to do while i'm in paris i also find that whenever i'm by the water i just feel so calm and although i'm like out and like spending my energy around other people i also feel that i'm returning that energy to my body by spending it in kind of chill reflective moments like these so it turns out biking is my new favorite hobby we're gonna take the bikes to chatelain cookie et la glacé no Lucas's friend met us and we took the bikes to the Eiffel Tower area because basically a friend of mine who is in Paris was actually leaving Paris that day and she was meant to go on Le Vide de Paris with her family and she could no longer make it so she kindly offered me the tickets and so us three we cycled to that area to go on these tourist boats along the Seine and we got there and it was just amazing. The cycle ride was incredible as well. I'm so glad I started using Valib and that my friend Megan got me to start using it because I was too scared. But now I just feel so confident and it makes me feel so, so, so good. I forget how beautiful the Eiffel Tower area is because it's not somewhere I usually come back to too often when I'm in Paris. But whenever I'm there, I just am completely obsessed and in awe of it. 
It was just such an unexpected afternoon and I feel so grateful to have had this experience doing this as it's something I never normally would have done by myself. Where are we? And you just see Paris in a completely different way when you're on the water in the middle of everything. It's just so calm and there's so much to do. The tour guide like explains all the history of Paris and it's just so fascinating. I just fall in love constantly, even more and more, every time I come back to this beautiful city. I highly recommend doing these tours. Lucas and Victor are from Paris and they loved it. So I just highly recommend, you know, although it's quite a touristy thing to do, you just can't miss it. It's incredible. It gives you so much insight into the city. You get to see things so differently when you're on the water. It's just such like a pleasant experience and day out and thing to do when you're in Paris. So I highly, highly recommend. <laughs> you enjoyed and i will see you in a video really really soon don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and i hope you have a beautiful day see you